What right, everyone, welcome to Road Road Up Restore, I'm John and in this video I will be working on my Vauxhall Insignia so I will be replacing the oil pump gasket seal in the bottom of the sump pan and then when I replace that I will be putting the sump pan back on so without further ado let's do it Pretty hard and brittle. Well, that definitely needs replacing. See it? That should be all soft and spongy. So that little 15 pound seal there is what destroys all these engines on these insignias. Okay then, so that's the old seal. Here's the new one. I don't know if you can see. It's all sort of split down there. Because it's very brittle. So definitely needed replacing. So if your car is around the hundred thousand mile mark and you're getting low oil pressure. Turn off engine message when you turn your key on. We need one of those. That red plastic thing is just a tool to push it into place. So, let's go and get this in. Okay, so I'll go and the bolts are smaller. And the bolts down the front and down the back. And the small ones are Torx 30. That's the tool I'm using. And that tool is Torx 50. No, it's not. It's Torx 40. 40 and 50. And that's the sealant I'm going to use. So let's get on with it. Okay, so let's uh, get the new seal and put it into place. There it is. It's just a tool to help you push it into place. Okay, so let's go and stick this in the car. Okay, so hopefully you can see up there, that's where it's got to go. It should just push into place. I think that's got it. Oh, there we go. It's the time bomb fuse waiting to blow this engine up in the next 200,000 miles. Okay then, so hopefully it's not too dark under here. Uh, I'm actually struggling getting the swamp into there and past that bit. So I've done a few dry runs to test it out. It's what gets trapped up at this end and trapped on this cross beam and it's that where the oil seal wants to go. So what I've done is cut a piece of wood to length, put it on the alternator and uh, got a jack from the 1930s and just took it took the engine up slightly so I've got bit more room in there so let's see if it does any good ok 
Okay then. Let's do this. Here we go. silicon all over it so I'm going to put that back up hopefully <laughs> I can get it back off check and find out won't we Okay, so that's in. Oh. See if I can get my little plastic bit. Probably can't see much, but I'm struggling here. Thank you. Now. my tool because I don't want to lose it up there inside the engine. Well, I've shot it. Right. I don't know if you can see up there but you can see the flywheel and uh, just there where that belt is that's the crankshaft and there's a nut on the end and you've got to turn that nut with a 19 millimeter socket until that flywheel turns into a little slot and then you can see the Allen key bolt behind it or the Torx key so I'll put you down there, I don't know what you're going to be able to see but let me carry on that's about it I don't know if you can see I think we're not sure. See if 
why I don't. I'm still there six hours later screwing this in. I think it's going, I can feel it pinching. So that's one of the oldest ones in. <laughs> I don't know if I've lost my torx bit. No, I That's it. Now then, let's line this one up. So here we are again, taped up. <laughs> See if we can get number two in. So that's all them tightened up. Now it's them two on the outer side underneath the chassis there. Okay, so there's just three bolts left. All the pattern, two pin ones. That one goes just there. Two pin ones under there. So let me get those in and I'll be back with you. Okay, so now we've just got to get these two bolts in here, 15 mil. One in there. And one at the top. A 15 millimeter socket. Nice and tight. went there and then there's the other one on the other side which are weird torx bolts So I need to sort this if it's all bracket out. Uh, that one is okay, but the other one snapped. I just welded a bolt onto it. I've just got to get that back onto there. Okay. 
six mil and that one's probably an eight mil. You need to lift that and that one. one inside there. Then when I get to that one, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got the flange back on, but I must say it was very difficult to use these bars to get in there and lever it because it was trapping against this. I've got two under two bolts up there to slacken this off again. And there, at last it's gone on. But now I can just put those three nuts on and then that's that. Okay, so that's all that buttoned up. Now I've just got to get the two. Well, there's a little wire this side. And then the other side there's a little pipe where it will fit on. And that's that done. Okay, so I've got all these bolts in. Uh, I managed to reach this one from this side. The other two you have to do from under the car. Get that nice and tight. And I want to force this drive shaft back into the gearbox. Then I can put this flange back on. And then we can get this ball joint back in. Okay, so that's it. videos are not how-to videos 
I just like making videos and I like to share. So there you go. That's how I fitted my Vauxhall Insignia oil pump seal gasket. And I must say it just goes to show that if you're looking for a particular type of car, make sure you find all the forums and uh, check out all the faults a particular car has. Yes, if I'd have known this car had that sort of fault, I don't think I'd have bothered buying it. But having said that, I am very happy I did buy it because it is an absolute fantastic car to drive. Probably one of the best cars I've ever driven. Meaning for comfort and luxury. And probably as a lot of you Vauxhall Insignia fans will know, that about 90 or 100,000 miles, these oil seals start to fail. And the first sign you get is, in the morning you get in your car, turn your key, start it up, and then the computer flashes up the message, low oil, turn off engine. That's the message you don't want to be seeing. Yes, when I bought the car, that message shown up after about the first week we had the car. So that's when I started doing the research, what I should have done in the first place. And I'll say that it's been about three weeks since that oil seal was put in. The car has been backwards and forwards to London twice, which is about 700 miles. Plus we've been running round and going out in it, so I'd probably say we've done about 900 to 1,000 miles on it so far. And that oil pressure sign hasn't come up once, thank God. And I absolutely love driving it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.